President Obama begins a week-long trip to Africa this morning. He'll visit three countries promoting democracy and economic opportunities. Bill Plant is at the White House. Bill, good morning. Charlie, good morning. The Africans expected a lot more from America's first black president, so he's kind of playing catch-up. First stop tonight is Dakar, Senegal, from which four centuries ago millions of Americans were shipped off to be slaves in the new, or Africans rather, shipped off to be slaves in the new world. Then to South Africa, Johannesburg and Cape Town, where his trip is overshadowed by the vigil for Nelson Mandela. The aim of the trip is to convince the continent that the U.S. cares, that it wants trade with Africa, and as always, to promote democracy. On the trade front, China has taken the lead in Africa, outpacing the U.S. for the past four years. And the cost of this trip is a big deal. It's been estimated to be as high as $100 million. That has brought criticism here at home. But it's always expensive for any president to travel, although Africa brings special challenges in security and logistics. Nora, Charlie? Uh, it, the interesting question, Bill, for me is whether the president will make every effort to get to see um, Nelson Mandela as sick as he is. Yeah, I wouldn't count on it, Charlie, because he is so ill and he has seen him before. But they say that they will defer to the wishes of the family. Uh, Thanks. Bill Plant, thank you.